In today's video, I'm going to show you how to reassemble your Ruger Mini 14 or Mini 30 rifle. To begin, let's take a look at the bolt. If you take a look at the bolt, you'll see a silver projection coming from the side of the bolt. That's a piece of the firing pin. Now you need to move that silver projection all the way to its rearward most position. If it's not moved fully to the rearward most position, you will not be able to reinstall the bolt. To begin the reinstallation of the bolt, place the rear of the bolt through the hole in the side of the receiver. Angle the bolt at a 45 degree angle and move it slowly rearward. Be careful not to bump the firing pin forward. Slowly angle the front of the bolt into the opening of the receiver. If you look through the bottom of the receiver, you will see that there is a projection on the side of the bolt. Rotate the bolt so that the projection on the bolt rests inside a groove inside the side of the receiver. This will allow you to move the bolt to its rearward most position. Insert the bolt lock plunger and its spring inside the hole in the top of the receiver. There's a notch in the bolt lock plunger and that notch should be closest to the rear of the receiver. Press the bolt lock plunger fully downward. Then insert the bolt stop. The bolt stop has a circular extrusion that will fit inside the hole drilled in the side of the receiver. From there, align the bolt lock cover plate and push upward. The slide assembly will then be rotated into position. When the slide assembly is rotated into position, the large protrusion on the side of the bolt will fall into the large groove cut in the side of the slide assembly. At the same time, the small projection at the end of the slide assembly will fall inside the disassembly notch cut into the side of the receiver. Move the slide assembly forward and align the slide assembly so that the gas pipe fits into the hole at the tip of the slide assembly. Next we're going to install the buffer bushing and the buffer cross pin. If you look at the buffer bushing there is a flat edge. That flat edge will be placed downward closest to the barrel. The buffer cross pin can then be placed through the side of the receiver and buffer. Next we're going to install the guide rod and recoil spring. Now the guide rod has a flat edge and that flat edge will be placed downward so that that flat edge is the closest part of the guide rod to the barrel. Insert the recoil spring into the hole in the rear of the slide assembly. Press the recoil spring forward until the guide rod can be angled downward into the buffer bushing. The flat edge of the guide rod should be against the flat edge of the buffer bushing. Then reinstall the stock. Angle the stock upward and press it forward into the gas block. Once that's done, press the receiver downward so that it fits into the stock. Next we're going to reinstall the trigger group assembly. There is a protrusion on the side of the trigger assembly that will fit inside a groove down inside the receiver. Align the protrusion with the groove and press it downward. Finally, press the trigger guard upward until it latches into position. Do a basic function test and you're all done. I hope this helps you and as always, be safe and thanks for watching.